Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> I haven't filmed in so long, so it kind of feels weird, but that's my cat right there. She's trying to steal my seat because she likes sitting in this seat, but anyway. Hello everyone, welcome back to my... <laughs> I'm stuffy, <laughs> hold on. Anyway, welcome back to my channel everyone. I am Mr. Bobbin or Malika, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys everything I crocheted for the month of... November so this month I literally went bonkers with crocheting I don't know why I don't know what possessed me to make this many sweaters but I ended up making four sweaters this month and usually I only get like two sweaters done in a month but this month I just I guess I had more time than usual or I I don't really know but I know that I went crazy with making sweaters and I ended up making four so I'm going to show you guys all the sweaters I made. Okay so to start off I made a crochet long sweater and it was the Neptune sweater that was literally so long ago I forgot I even made it but I'll have a picture right here of how I look wearing it but this is how this sweater turned out and I actually love this sweater so much mainly because it's like super heavy and warm and just it fits so nicely on my body and I made it cropped because I wanted to hurry up and do other projects but this is how it ended up turning out and I love the color combination I used like this sweater was just like perfect I loved like for some reason all the sweaters I made this month were like my favorite I just I don't know but this was the first and it's a Neptune sweater and this is how the collar looks I freaking love these collars like the puffy look instead of the flat like I like the flat too but I like the puffy look as well but yeah this this sweater and this took me I want to say it took me like five days ish I'm not really sure because I literally made this sweater like the first week of November and it's the day before it's the 29th today so I don't know how long I took but I do have a video on that and I'll have that in a cards somewhere but yeah this took me like five days ish don't quote me on that I don't really know I just know it didn't really take me long because I ended up doing a cropped sweater so that's how this sweater turned out and this was the first sweater I made in the month of November and then I had extra time I actually wasn't even going to do this project because I thought my November would have been filled field would have been filled with other projects so I thought I wouldn't really be able my cat is literally trying to steal my seat but I thought I wouldn't be able to get this sweater done this month so I was really planning on doing it next month but then I looked at my schedule and I saw that I had time because I finished this in like a crazy amount of time so I had like an extra week to do this sweater that I actually plan on doing next month but that ended up being my Christmas my ugly Christmas sweater so it's literally it's not literally ugly is that's just what it's called you know, if you Google like ugly Christmas sweater, sweaters will pop up. Blah, 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 blah. It's just called ugly Christmas sweater just because. But I don't really mean like I made an ugly sweater that's a Christmas sweater, if you catch what I mean. But this is how this turned out. And this was my first time like making a snowflake, making an ornament, wherever it is, making an ornament. And then I made a snowman, like this sweater. I love this sweater so much and I love the way it fit like I'm still going to be making a basic sweater pattern like so the sweater will look like this and yeah but this sweater turned out like way better than I expected I I was thinking about like stopping like with just the stripes and having that be the ugly Christmas sweater but then I was like mm, I want to do something different this time and make it you know more festive so I quickly thought of a snowman and all the snowflakes and then I ended up with this masterpiece oh and then I'll have the picture of me wearing it right here for you guys to see and this pattern is available at copydolls.com you guys can purchase this pattern and make your own ugly Christmas sweater in time for December 
I mean in December in time for Christmas because I'm going to be wearing this sweater for Christmas and I'm really excited but yeah so I freaking love how this sweater came out oh and I used merino wool I used hand dyed yarn merino wool with this sweater and then with this sweater I used impeccable yarn like I love impeccable I think I'm going to like start using impeccable for more of my crochet projects and then doing like hand dyed yarn and stuff for like my knitting projects that's like what I'm kind of thinking of doing for now but I know that before I was like I'm done with the acrylic blah 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 but now I don't know I just found a new love for it because I mean hello it made it this so I'm definitely going to be going back to using impeccable yarn with like my crochet projects because one this didn't take this took three days to make and the longest part of this project was actually sewing on everything but the sweater itself took three days and yeah it was super easy it was a fun process because I've, I've never done anything like this before so it was really fun to create and yeah I think that's pretty much all I have to say with my Christmas sweater but yeah impeccable yarn 10 out of 10 to me I love that acrylic yarn because it's really soft it's soft and then it doesn't flare you know how when you use red heart and you make a sweater or whatever mainly like a sweater and like it flares in the back like that I hate that I literally hate that so much but impeccable doesn't do that it just fits so nicely onto the body and it's chef's kiss so I love impeccable I'm definitely going to start using that more with my crochet projects but this was the second sweater I made in the month of November then I told you guys I'll be making a recreation piece because I haven't made one in a while and I wanted to make one that was like easy and you know that wasn't like a three piece like i did last time so i just made a simple sweater but i actually was gonna use like palette yarn from whoa palette yarn from knit picks and then brushed alpaca silk from drops i'm pretty sure but when i started crocheting with that it was literally so small and i already made these two sweaters which didn't take long at all because it wasn't like thin but when i started chaining for the recreation piece with the palette and the brush alpaca i was like absolutely not i am not making a sweater out of this because literally it would have taken me forever to finish and i wanted to get projects out so i did not have time to like make a sweater with such thin yarn so i ended up buying impeccable again and i made velma sweater from scooby doo so this is my first time making like a turtleneck and i loved it i don't think i'll do it again i don't know it just it took it took long but this is the sweater oh and i made it cropped because i don't know i wanted a cropped look for some reason but i'll have the picture of me wearing this sweater and but this is how it looks it looks really small but like it doesn't fit small on my body but just holding it, it seems like this is for a little kid but this is how it ended up turning out and I love the turtleneck look because like I said before it's my first time making something like that but I don't know I think I know I chained like way too much away more than I needed to because it started like getting thick around here because it literally folded all the way down here so I chained like way more than I needed but I've never done a turtleneck before so I honestly didn't know where to stop so she's literally trying to steal my seat fine here here on it. here That's all she wants to do. She loves to see. But, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I didn't know how many to chain. So I ended up chaining way more than I actually needed. So it was kind of thick along the neck area. But it ended up being perfect for the picture. So I really didn't care. But I know next time not to chain that many. Because that was way too much. But all in all, it came out so so well and i loved how like i just love like i just found a new love for impeccable again like 
I just want to make sweaters with impeccable just like forever and then knit all my bougie yarn with knitting yeah but anyway that's how this came out and this was my third sweater for this month and I was actually supposed to end not like end but I was going to take a break from crocheting sweaters for this month because I had like 10 days left and I already crocheted three sweaters and I had 10 days left of them for the month so I was like I'm gonna use that 10 days to like chill and knit because I started knitting another project but then I had this yarn this tweed yarn I got from Hobie and so I made another sweater oh and this took three days as well I procrastinated a lot on this sweater like it literally I literally could have finished like in less time is that how you say it but I don't know I took long on this I mean long this but then I created this sweater and I made this in three days as well it's so easy to make sweaters in like three days for me because I double crocheted them I double crocheted all the sweaters these sweaters except this one this was half double crochet but I double crocheted these sweaters and ouch and I used a six millimeter hook so like it went by so fast like I finished a panel in a day then I'll finish another panel in a day and then two sleeves in the next day. So super, super easy to finish. If you're using a six millimeter hook and doing double crochet, like literally that is most likely the only reason I finished this quickly. But this is the tweed sweater I made and I love this sweater so much. Like, okay, I know I say that like with all my projects, but this right here, this right here is like my ultimate favorite because it like has everything I like stripes it's it fits me nicely oh I'll have a picture it's the sleeves are perfect they're not like skinny and the collar fits me so nicely and I don't have to like struggle tugging it down my head and the colors gray I freaking love gray stuff I don't know why but for some reason I just love gray so this will be like this is like the perfect sweater to me and I love it I did the sleeves like different so this cuff is gray and this cuff is I said this cuff is gray as if this whole sweater is a gray this cuff is light gray and then this cuff is dark gray so they have like different stripes sorry it's kind of hard so it's like different stripes, you know. I went back and forth with that. But yeah, so this will be how my basic sweater looks. So so this is how my basic sweater will look, but with one solid color. So I still have to make that sweater and then make a pattern for that. But this is basically how it'll come out so I'm really really excited to make another sweater like this but this is definitely definitely like my favorite sweater and I don't know if I said it I, but anyway I got this yarn from Hobie so you guys can get tweed yarn from Hobie and they have a lot of colors for this tweed and but I chose gray because I love gray but yeah these are the four sweaters I made for this month which is insane like I don't think I've ever done that before like even when I was doing patchwork I was getting a sweater out a month like Valentine's Day I had a Valentine's Day sweater February I just had a oh my god Valentine's Day is in February I meant March is that St. Patrick's Day when is St. Patrick's Day I literally have no idea but I had like a, a shamrock sweater and that was for that month i have no idea what saint patrick's day is let me google that okay so i wasn't tripping it is in march so for march i had like a ouch a saint patrick's day sweater and so yeah i was getting a sweater out a month but for some reason this month like i said i went crazy and i ended up with four sweaters and i'm not gonna do that again anytime soon but that's all for my monthly recap, all the sweaters. And now it's time to get into what I'm going to be doing next month, which is tomorrow. Because this video will be coming out tomorrow. So for you guys, it'll be tomorrow, technically. So 
for December, I'm doing something I've never done before, and I purchased an advent calendar. I'm not really sure how to like word this because I've never done it before, but and I really don't even know what it is. My sisters bought it, so I bought it as well. But from what they told me, it's an advent calendar. Like there will be yarn for like 25 days, so December 1st through December 25th, and I will be opening up, I will be showing you guys a yarn every day. I don't know if that even makes sense. So I'll show you, I'll be showing you guys, so I'm sure there are 25 skeins, okay. Then December 1st, I'll show you guys a skein a day. So I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to be filming every single day in December from December 1st through the 25th showing you guys the yarn every day and it'll be like vloggy so i'll get like when i wake up and all that stuff but i eat i'll show you guys the cats all that stuff and then in each video i'll show you guys a skein of yarn i think do you even say a skein of yarn and i honestly thought it was skein but anyway i'll show you guys a yarn ball every day and i think he was said it's like ombre or something i literally have no idea what i bought but december 1st you guys will see and hopefully it'll all make sense then but yes i'll be filming every single day in december and i'm really excited because i've never done that before i'm gonna be waking up at 5 a.m and then i'll be posting maybe by 6 p.m pst so I'll be dropping a video every single day. I'm literally repeating myself because it's insane and I can't wait to do it. But yeah, it'll be like short videos, like 10 minutes maybe. It's not gonna be long because I'm just going to be going about my day. I'll show you guys. It'll be like a crochet with me in a way because I'll be, no, it'll be like a knit with me in a way because I'll be knitting and then just showing you guys what I do during the day, blah, blah, blah. Boring stuff, but that's really it for December. Oh, and I want to do a recreation piece. I know I want to do that and that'll probably take three days because I'll most likely use impeccable yarn anyway to do that. And I think that'll probably be like the only project I get done in December unless I finish the knit project I'll be working on throughout the entire December 1st to 25th video. So I knocked out so many sweaters this month. So next month I will literally only have like one project or two maybe i don't know but we'll see and i'm really excited to show you guys the yarn that the christmas yarn if that's what it's called because i don't even know what it looks like i have it in a box in my closet so i haven't even opened up the package so i haven't seen anything so the first time i see it you guys will be seeing it as well and yeah that's pretty much it I didn't expect to talk this much. Usually these videos aren't this long, but, or are they? I don't really know. But I know that, yeah, I don't even know what I'm, I'm saying because I think I said all I needed to say. Oh, 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 I remember. And also, no, no, no. So the first through the 25th will be that advent calendar stuff and then i will have a recreation like in between there somewhere so i'll probably post like twice a day in for one of those videos i mean for one of those days blah 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 then i'm going to make a video of everything i crocheted in the last six months of 2021 because i have a video of how much I crocheted the first half of 2021 so I'll make a video of everything I crocheted in the last half of 2021 so I will have that video to film as well so you guys can see that I'm breathless for some reason but yeah I'm glad I remembered that so you guys can stay tuned for all the sweaters I made this half of the year but it won't be nearly as many as I made the first half because i don't know i went crazy the first half of this year like i don't even know how i had time to like make all of those things and it didn't even seem like i was making a lot but anyway i think that's all i have to say now is all i have to say and anyway yeah i'll actually be seeing you guys tomorrow because tomorrow starts the first day 
I'll be showing you guys the yarn so until the first through the 25th you guys will be seeing me every single day and I can't wait for that so I'll see you guys then but let me show you my cat she was just waiting to get on my chair so she can sleep but this is where she is Hey Onyx. <laughs> and Thunder is knocked out in front of me. He's a very, very wild sleeper. And Fury's out there somewhere. I don't know where he is. But... Yeah, you guys will be seeing them a lot in my vlogs. Anyway, oh yeah, and they're vlogs. I don't know why I didn't say that. They're, it's going to be vlogs. The 1st to the 25th, they're vlogs. So you'll be seeing me crochet, eat, blah, 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 do whatever during the day, you know. Yeah, but that is all I have for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. And since you guys enjoyed it so much, be sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I post another video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.